Hey, this is Digital Day with another cryptocurrency and blockchain update. Today is Chinese New Year's Eve. So tomorrow and actually this evening starts the big celebrations uh, for Chinese New Year's and uh, this will be the year of the ox, which might as well be the year of the bull because uh, we are in a bull market and uh, every time you look at your portfolio, you're probably seeing green candles on most of the cryptos. And um, that's what a bull market looks like. And congratulations to all of you who got in early or even got in now, that's fine. You want to get in before the masses get in. The masses are still not in the crypto. So, um, but I do have a lot of people asking me about uh, Bitcoin and crypto. Um, that uh, a year ago, they had no interest at all. Bitcoin was $4,000 about a year ago. And um, a year later, we're up at 10X or more. And um, there's this dog down here looking at me. Um, so yeah, of course people want Bitcoin now that it's gone up 10 times. They didn't want it when it was 4,000 because back then it was a scam. Apparently Bitcoin is not a scam anymore. You got Elon Musk now uh, has $1.5 billion of Bitcoin on their balance sheet at Tesla. And they also accept Bitcoin for a Tesla car. Um, so really cool things. I haven't driven a car in so long. I drive a motorbike slash motorcycle here in Thailand. And the beauty of being here in Thailand is that you don't need a car, a motorcycle, a motorbike, and you can even walk a lot of places too. All you need is just a, is just a, a, a bicycle, motorbike, motorcycle, whatever you, uh, that's all you need here. Um, but you know, congratulations if you guys got uh, uh, some Bitcoin, you can buy a Tesla with it. And uh, Elon Musk will be happy to take your Bitcoin for one of his vehicles. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so Tesla is the first major company to accept Bitcoin. And now this is going to be the dominoes are going to about to fall in a good way. We're going to see all these other companies uh, w will accept a Bitcoin. And I'm hearing that Oracle might be the next big one, big company that will accept Bitcoin. Cool things are happening. So I got on my Chinese New Year uh, dragon shirt. No, it's not Year of the Dragon. It's Year of the Ox. Year of the Dragon comes up, I think, maybe two or th two years after this one. Um, but uh, anyways, um, you know, Dragons, man. Dragons are cool. Yeah, I'm a geek. That's cool too. Being a geek is cool. You got to be a bit of a geek if you're into crypto. Okay. You got to be a bit of a geek if you're into gold and silver. You're either, you're going to be some kind of bad name. You're going to be a gold bug, a silver fish, a crypto geek, whatever. People's going to put a label on you. You might as well just go ahead and label yourself. Yeah, okay, we're geeks. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of. Uh, Speaking of geeks, not speaking of geeks, but I did a video, I would do, I want to do a recap on a couple of videos I did, I did uh, previously, I did a video about security and about how I, I personally don't keep crypto or much crypto on me. I keep private keys in separate parts of uh, um, in different uh, geographical locations. That is just my weird way of uh, being ultra secure, being a public figure for crypto. And there are other ways, probably better ways for the mainstream uh, uh, investors to get into crypto. You can. You can uh, hide your crypto, you can hide your seed phrases in very clever places in, throughout your house. And I'll be covering more about that later, about uh, clever places to keep your seed phrases, if you're going to have your seed phrases at your own location. You don't have to do that, though. I actually recommend keeping your seed phrase at another location. Okay. Um, <laughs> so there's that. And uh, the, I was reading some comments on that video. People say, well, you need to, you know, because in the video I said, you know, if somebody held a gun to my head, so they're not going to get much out of me. And uh, a few comments were like, well, you need to have a gun. Um, little that you guys don't know, but I've done a lot of uh, firearms training, tactical training uh, back when I was in the US and I had a massive, massive gun collection. So um, just to let you guys know, I'm not as quite as innocent as you might, uh, as I might seem, um, but I'm still a nice guy and I'm still, you know, I practice uh, all the whole spectrum, uh, self-defense, um, uh, firearms training, not here in Thailand though. Uh, back in the US, I, I did a lot of firearms training. Uh, intuition, meditation, uh, I've done veganism, vegetarianism, I've done fasts. Uh, now I'm eating regular, uh, a regular standard diet, but a healthy one. I've done the whole spectrum and I don't really fit in any group. I don't fit in into the, to the gun owners group, <laughs> whatever you want to call that. Uh, I don't fit into the, to the vegan uh, uh, organic group, whatever you want to call that. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm in between and maybe I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's probably where everybody needs to be. You want to explore both sides, but you don't want to be stuck on one side or the other. There's a saying that says you don't want to be positive all the time. You don't want to be negative all the time. Think of yourself in, as being on a river 
and this right bank is the negative side and the left bank is the positive side. You don't want to be, when you're traveling down this river, you don't want to be stuck on one bank for too long. You want to get yourself off of that bank and flow down the middle if you can. If you swerve off onto this bank, you want to get off that as soon as you can and just kind of stay in between. And I, I like to think that that's what I'm doing. And it might be a good idea for you guys to just explore other realms. Let me just say that, explore other realms. If you have a phobia, of whatever your phobia might be, explore that. Maybe things aren't quite as scary as it, uh, as it may seem. Um, oh, I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of feedback when uh, my last video, when I said that um, I kept calling uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, Indonesia, I've always gotten, Indonesia and Malaysia, I always get those countries mixed up when I, when I talk about them. Uh, for some reason, it's just the way I'm wired. Yes, I know that KL is in Malaysia and I've traveled to KL and I've also traveled to um, the other part of uh, Malaysia that I've been to is called Penang Island. Yeah, so I've been there as well. Actually, it's a really cool place. Penang Island is, is, Penang Island is really, really, really cool. Um, someone said, well, why don't you talk about, why don't, why don't you like Thailand? Or why, excuse me, sorry. Why do you like Thailand more than say, Malaysia or anywhere else? And I've talked about this before. Uh, I believe I've had, yeah, I know I have. Um, just uh, the food here is awesome. Some of the best food I've ever had or probably the best food I've ever had is the Thai food. And when you have Thai food in Thailand, there's just something magic about it. Um, Thai massages um, are fantastic. You know, if you travel to Mexico, and uh, Mexico is, is great, I've been to Mexico, but there are no Mexican massages. There is no uh, German massages or whatever. Sure there is, but you know, the, the famous Thai massages are really incredible, very therapeutic. I used to go to chiropractors when I lived in the US. I've not been to one chiropractor since I've been here because if I do have a problem with my shoulder or my back, I go get a Thai massage and for $6, maybe $7 for one hour, I'm, I'm golden. And um, there's just a lot of things here. Um, the weather is great here. It's currently about 75 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It is um, about 1.20 p.m. It is a little bit cooler than it normally is, um, but the weather is just, just amazing. Um, what else? We got, God, we, we, we're, I just want to say this, that I know I'm covering a lot of things in this video. We're in the middle of a perfect storm for crypto. Now I'm reading that central banks are printing money so they can buy crypto. I mean, if this doesn't tell you this is the year of the ox slash bull, nothing else. There's no other uh, convincing I can do for you. Central banks uh, are going to be into cryptos. So we're going to see some massive, massive moves in cryptocurrencies. Um, in my Patreon uh, group this morning, I posted a, a quick update um, about um, iTrust Capital, uh, link below. If you're in the U.S. and you want to, um, if you have a 401k or IRA, and you want to buy cryptos in that, uh, check the link below and you'll be able to put between six and $7,000 into the 401k IRA and um, you can trade cryptos within that. Now, some say that's not, that's not a lot of money, but if you buy $7,000 for whatever cryptos in there, there's about eight of them. Recently, Polkadot was added. Okay, let's say you buy $7,000 with a Polkadot and if Polkadot goes to hundred bucks, which I think it will go to um, you know, by the end of the year, Worst case, uh, early next year, you've um, you know you five times your money tax free. That's pretty cool. So if you're looking at tax saving uh, strategies, uh, look into the 401k, the crypto 401k. I definitely recommend it. Um, let's see what other what what other strategies we got. Okay, so I want to talk about too. Uh, in that same post, I talked about um, there was a uh, trading view chart that I posted up. I'm not a chartist per se, but I do look at long term trends with crypto, and I think that's really important. Now, crypto can go anywhere, and I use my intuition a lot about where the market's going to go. Um, but I do like to look at charts, too. It's just another visual aid or another uh, intuitive aid as well. I'm looking at this chart, and this guy drew a chart that says that, uh, according if it's correct, that Theta will go to about $100 this year, which is a little bit more what my prediction was. Mine has been $20 you know, from a long time ago, and then I upgraded it and said you know, between 20 and 80 I think 20 is kind of like a sure bet. But um, you know, if this chart is correct, we might be, see a hundred dollar theta sometime later this year. Now, how, how exciting is that? I mean, there's there's already a lot of people in, in the Patreon group that's made a lot of money, a lot of money. And um, but there's more money to be made if you're just now getting into crypto. And theta is currently just under three dollars. I still think it's got a lot of room to go. I just think if it goes from three dollars, if it just goes to twenty, you still got a seven x move ahead of you. And I think twenty is now very conservative for theta. Um, Cardano. 
I'm looking back at my records and I was buying Cardano at a nickel and look at it now, it's about, it's under a dollar. I think it's about 90 cents right now. And that was, that was less than a year. Cardano has done amazing, amazingly uh, on the charts, uh, profit wise, portfolio wise, done really good. A lot of my members got in real early too. I still think uh, Cardano will see um, close to a $10 bill this year, close to it. Let's say uh, conservatively, at, you know, $6 um, or maybe goes as high as $10. And I'm thinking $20 for 2022 for Cardano. Okay, again, polka dot, talking about Polkadot. Um, Polkadot's a really big deal. I think Polkadot's, um, you know, I think $100 might be conservative by early next year. We'll see where that goes. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, okay, I got my geography covered. I've got my uh, security covered. There's a lot. Yeah, I do want to talk about security more. Like I said, I'll do another video about that. A lot of people are concerned about their is security. Um, I've been in the crypto space for four years, and I've studied security very well. When I first got into crypto back in early 17, and I was, was watching my portfolio really go up, and I really, I said, you know, what am I going to do? You know, it was a bit of a panic, and I talked about it before. This happens when you're early into crypto, and you really start to see these uh, exponential gains, you start really researching security. What do I do? What, you know, is this wallet secure? And I went through all this stuff. I went through a, a lot of wallets. I tested them. And then I studied security about uh, proper ways to really secure your crypto. So yeah, I'm, I'm not new to this whole space. And um, I think I'm, I think I'm well covered. And, <laughs> and, uh, and I want you guys to be covered too. I know if you, if you're watching this channel and if you don't want to join the Patreon and, and you want, you know, the, the free information, that's totally cool. I'll try to give as much value as I possibly can in the YouTube. There is a lot of lot of uh, nuts and bolts within the Patreon if you want to check that out. And that's uh, patreon.com slash crazy for cryptos. So check that out. All right. Um, this is it. So Chinese New Year's uh, is approaching. Could be a big deal. Could be a big deal for gold. I was um, talking with a gold shop um, owner this morning. And he says that there's been a lot of a lot of frenzy going on in the gold uh, buying gold. He says it's because of Chinese New Year's. He says, well, Traditionally, this is when they, they buy a lot of gold. And he says, oh, he says uh, within one or two months, he says, gold going up. I said, rock on. I like to see gold go up. How, how high it goes, I have no idea. Probably not as high as theta. But like I've said before, though, I think it's important to have a little bit of gold and silver. Just a little bit. Diversify a little bit. You know, gold and silver is not going to do what theta or Cardano or Chainlink has done or will do. Um, but I still think you should diver diversify. And this is my financial opinion only. And only do what feels right. Only do what feels right. All right, that's it. This is DD. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, this is Digital Day with another cryptocurrency and blockchain update. 